and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. We sure do. Didn't, didn't see that coming, did you? I didn't. Because I broke the mold! Wow! So now you're just on board. Right, well, you know, for now. We'll it, see if it changes. It worked. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now, as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, will you do the honors? If I recall, what the people are hoping for is eyeball energy in this particular set. And I can tell you, looking at the randomly chosen common chase cards, which are Fido, Execute, and Gengar, that two of them are eyeballs. So let's see it. Wow. That was like a, that was like off the line, like drag racing level spin there. Let's see. Can it be? Oh my God, we did. That's unbelievable. That, I mean, I, that was awesome. That wow. was amazing. Okay, so it is in fact eyeball. I'm gonna change the boards. You know? I, I'm actually excited feels, about it today because there are gross. so many. The game just changed entirely, which is so exciting because Team Grass, which is basically a dynasty inside of this game going on right now, is currently in first place with 99 points, followed pretty far behind by Electric uh, with 62, Water with 60, so neck and neck for second and third, and then Fire is all the way in last with only 32 points at the moment. So now. we are dying to see that team <gasps> score leaderboard change up. And I have a feeling today is gonna be the day. I think today is gonna be the day, uh, especially because we have the eyeball energy now as the multiplier. And we've seen before, the, I think we've already had a couple of four times multipliers. Like it can happen. It's a smaller set, so the, the critical hit chances are higher. Yes, yeah there's, yeah, there's a lot going on. So I feel like Let's be excited. Without any further ado, who's up first? Our first uh, contestant is Josh, although I've written down Josh down Yosh. here. So, oh, yes, of course. Uh, so probably Josh. Right, it's a soft J. It's a soft J. Did uh, 13 points last season, 12 before that. Been an upward trajectory. Okay, okay. Let's, let's see. Let's Can see we kick we things off? with a nice big score. Let's see. Boom, metal energy, metal. so that's not helping. You may also notice we have a new mat that we're putting down here. Look at this. If you, I guess if you were, if you're in the game, you got this mat, right? Is uh, that the case? No, oh, no. The, there is, we have uh, quarterly merchandise that is available if you are to upgrade your box breakers mm. tier. Um, and with that, this past quarter, so for Q4 of 2023, we did make this beautiful play mat, which yeah, was yeah. designed by uh, Isabel, who is one of the editors here in office. And it features both Jay, or sometimes that's me actually, me and Jay over here, and then Vero and Scyther, and it looks really cool. So Those are our favorite. If you guys want to check that out, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Anyway, Yash is up with the Toad School, the Lachon, the Char Cadet, the Klobopis, the Grappalock, the Iono, the Kilowattrel, the Zatu, Zatu will, will score, score twice. twice, the Scraggy will do nothing. Oh, oh and the Paldean students. students. So right out of the gate, we have some fun. We do indeed. Let's check number 231 oh, on yeah. the set. Although I did, I couldn't happen to notice. Oh my gosh, just 95 cents. Although it, what? Is our, it is our first one of this particular variation. This is a one point card? It's a one point card. And then this is actually going to be a two point card. Yeah, so the Zatu is actually doing more lift wow, for a so three point pack each. overall. Three point pack. Overall, Oops. for Josh. So, so unfortunately, three. today was not the day, but there is a, otherwise a rather cool full art card headed in your direction. Yes, and so the uh, the person everyone is chasing today is Chase, who is in the lead with 44 points right now. So yes, it's a very impressive 44, but will it hold? Hard to say. Next up, we've got Dalton Green, uh, who is coming in for a long time player. Long time player here. All, all the way back to season today. two. If well, not earlier. If we not earlier. Have, yeah, we, we didn't have... keep the cards from season one. So. I know. What were we thinking? I don't know. It was as if we didn't realize data would be massively important to this otherwise highly strategic game. I know. I know. How are we supposed to track all these people? 
Mm. All right, we've got teardrop energy, so no oh, advantage. The Dede, Dede, Dede score. does score. The Noiba, the Chimeco, the Whimsicott. I told See, you, the yeah, Curly. Yeah, will score. Uh, this is why you want eyeball energy. The Mankey, the Grieve Art, and the Executor. Oh my gosh. So. Man, so the Executor will score twice. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points off just. The type advantage without even pulling the type advantage. I, I mean, know. that's insane. And we didn't even have the execute, or we had the execu executor, which yeah. I can't ever say, or the finest, so I know. Like, which would even add more to the mix. So, man. Man, very well done. So a seven point pack on that Rotten eyeball energy, green. taking w good, strong advantage. What of, is? What do we need for a big Steve? Big Steve was real low this weekend. Is it? Or yeah, this? big Big Steve only I believe had a single point. So we are looking. There's a, a quite a multi a multitude of ties okay. in the number two spots. We're gonna have to go to total rare card value for those. So Indeed. it's gonna be a little hard to track until after the game has been completed. But if we want an update on the quality eighth place spot, currently being held by Monkey Bacon with 12 points, actually tied with Chris. Sara, both for Team Electric. Okay. Feels like those are going to get bumped down, but that, that's where we're at right now. Yes. Yes, Okay. Indeed. All right, next up we have Heather Lynn. Heather Lynn and I'm up. We're Electric. It's Electric. Bum, 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 bum. Who, I mean, would hope to surge ahead there in second place, but it's by 28 points, so. Right, yes. So we'd yeah, like to see something, something huge. Something huge. We got the Salad Energy off the front. We got the Pikachu, the, the Grieve Art will score, the Chinchow, the Woobat will score, and the Modus Backpack, the Whimsicott will score, the Atticus, the oh, Moonlight Hill. Something. Will not, oh, the Palmy! There Palmy. we go. Sticking out. We'll go check that one out. And then we'll boss if to score as well. off. Let's check out the 226. The Palmy, man, love that one. It's so cute. We got a little dude in there. Here is yes. what is happening inside of this set though, Jay, is that the illustration rares, which are normally like a guaranteed way to get value, are being so outshined by the shinies. That's so weird. Set. So this is just going to come in at 71 cents. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five points off of that pack, which is crazy because there is a shiny palmy in there anyway. Uh, but whatever, that's how it goes. Either way, you're already seeing the uh, eyeball energy add points to different people's totals. Yes, absolutely. All right, next up, power couple Stefan and Susie. Boy, the way we do not lay these points out the same for season one. <laughs> Where's season nine? We are not consistent. We are not, but that's okay. This is our uh, CrossFit and Pokemon couple. Uh, they have been looking for, I mean, the last time we had a single pack season, that was probably their best, that was their best showing with 16 points. So they are, maybe maybe they're just single point people. And we've got Fireball Energy off the top. We've got a Wooper, Panda Mouse, Mankey, Flittle, Flittle will score, score. Graplock, Iono, Kill a Watchel, Chark, Cadet, the Woobat will score, and the Heat Row Tom. So unfortunately, they did hit a couple of type advantages, but still just going to rake in three points on the season. There we go. Yeah, so the Heat Row Tom is that kind of interesting one where there's, there's such little round value at 99 cent value so uh, it just, so just goes close. up so if it was just like two cents more <coughs> it would be worth a whole point more but geez instead so three points on that, that pack for Stefan and Susie not. who by the way now I'm totally curious if there's like some quality Pokemon exercise wear out there oh there has got to be yeah, yeah if they're like if they're going kitted up to the CrossFit gym and like all yeah. their you know like like some, cool like Poke some joggers or some jerseys yeah or whatever. I want that stuff yeah it's got to be available all right next up we have Karen Karen, Karen my favorite here. my favorite Pikachu pack. This is my favorite uh, booster pack art for this set. Mm. I feel like it's just got the best contrast of anything. Karen says her goal is to visit every Disney theme park around the world. Oh man! Shared goal. Yeah, that would be so much fun. I have been <clears throat> to Paris, Disneyland, and Disney World. Yeah. And I got so married there. Yeah, so, so still yeah. got to do like Shanghai and Hong Kong and stuff. True, true. Yeah, yeah. Tokyo and also uh, we, Tokyo. we did go on a cruise. We did go on a cruise. Yeah, oh boy, that, to do so. all the ships though, that'd be a lot. <laughs> that would be a lot. Yeah, yeah, lots of lots of boxes to tick, but good luck in your endeavors. Uh, the execute will score twice. twice. Uh, then we got the Flittle, the Pikachu, the Technical Machine, the Docs Bun, the Demona's Backpack. The oh, Pikachu will give us a critical, critical hit. hit. There we go. The Paldean Student will do nothing for us. Oh, oh and the Charizard. Charizard. Yeah, oh, there we man, go. You'll love to see it. You'll you, love to see it. You do love to see it. You love to see it. Number 54 what a on fun the set. Pack. Here we go. This is a little bit more to work with. We got $5.62 on the Charizard. Wow. So it's going to be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 2 is a 20 point pack. 20 for point pack. Oh, 
my gosh, very impressive. <laughs> and of course, it's for Team Grass, you guys. Is it really right <laughs> yes. now? Oh my gosh, that's gonna put- Is she in the top five? So, um, One, that's two, gonna be in, three. yes, top five. So wow. fourth overall, meaning that in the top five, including the first two spots are grass. So three of mm. the top five are now all grass. Wow, wow, how do they do it? How do they do it? I have no idea. It doesn't seem like it should keep working out, but it does. And as a reminder, in case anybody's like, why do you guys keep talking about the team scores? There are specialty pins, and the only way to receive one is to be on the winning, winning team. team. And they're like little like gym badges almost. Yeah, so basically. Kind of as you go, you can kind of like continue to like fill out your collection. So. Exactly. All right, next up we've got Brawn. Brawn! Here we go. This, you know what, Ben? This feels like a thick pack. Does it? I okay. don't know what is different. It does like feel. The, the hand scales are kind of like hand scales. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a. It's got a certain heaft to it, if you okay, will. Let's see. Oh, Bam, salad, salad energy. energy. Not, a, not a hefty thing, but Flittle. The, the Grievard, the Scrappy, the, the Curly, Curly, and the Gengar will score. Yep, Toad first School Generator and Toad Scroll. So let's see. We're going to have one, two, three, four, and then whatever the Toad Scroll is worth. That's okay, a front pager at number five, 37 cents. So just a single point for uh, that. And so in case anybody was wondering, this is a Toad School, toad not School. Toad School, not Toad School. So, so that's why we don't get the critical hit on that one. Five point pack. Uh, um, even I, I stand by the heftiness of the pack. I'm not sure what was adding to it. Maybe it was just sealed a little bit tighter. I know sometimes that's like it's like you wonder. It's like like where they they heat press it together. It's like does it feel heavier when it's just like tighter versus right. like when there's like a little bit more like room for the cards to wiggle. Mm. All right, next up we have Lauren, as in Master Lauren, uh, from, Master Arkovix. Yeah, uh, Arkovix from Name of the Wind. Yes. There we go. We've yeah. met Lauren before. We have. There we go, let's see. So we got electric there. So still no eyeball energy uh, off the front. We got the Scraggy, you've seen a lot Someone's of those. Gonna the Gimmigul, the Magmar, the Nimona, the Dawn Fan, the Electric Generator, Grappalock, oh, the Hopip, hop there we go. That's gonna score some points. That will do it. The Annihilate will score, score as will the Zatu. Zatu. All we'll right, so, so got a couple of things here. Yeah, so something to, something to look at. Number 96 on the set we have pulled before, $3.16. Wow, so, so that's gonna, gonna be four, be four five, six, seven, eight. Eight points, eight there points we go. Eight points for Lauren. There we go, and a shiny hop-up coming your way. That's super fun. That is super fun. Way to go to Lauren. All right, next up we have Joe Cathin. Joe Cathin. Joe Cathin. Playing for grass, so you can only expect something massive Absolutely here. Absolutely massive. Right? What have we got? What have we got? Can we see some eyeball? Ooh. We can! Wow, you love to call it. Big team grass there energy there. Got the, the knot. I know, it is such a the knot will score, the cotton will score, the primate, the artisan lantern. <gasps> the Luxio is pretty cool, the Demona, and the, the Zatu. Zatu! Oh, oh my man. gosh. So it's gonna add up in a weird way because of the multiplier. I know, yeah. So let's see here. So number 136. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleeve that Luxio, which is so cool. Love that. Yeah, I believe that's our first of those. That's $2.99 for the Luxio. So I guess three that's points. three, four, five, six, seven times two is fourteen. Did you get both for the Zot too? Yes. Okay. So yes. fourteen points for Joe Cathan. There you go. Team Grass does it again. I don't even know. That's a, I don't even know if that's a top five uh, score for Team Grass. No, I don't even think it is. I don't even think it is. Yeah. Goodness. Let's see here. Grass is going to be forty-four, twenty-three, sixteen. Oh, I think there's another one tucked in there as well. Yeah, so that's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, there you go. Team Grass is just like they, shiny luck. Yeah, coming your way. Something must be in the water over there at Team Grass. All right. Well, speaking of which, we have yet another big grass player hits. It's Margo. Margo, a known contender. They've been a season champ. I think they've been a season champ, or, or yeah. they've been in the lead at least a few times. Yeah. Yep. Impressive showings all the way around. Oh, Thirty-seven about, points. Oh, here we go. Speaking about uh, Disney World stuff, they used to be a space ranger at Walt Disney World and did a double Galactic Hero, which is when you get the perfect Dang. score on both blasters. That's pretty tough. That's you, pretty cool. You got Galactic Hero. I did. I did. Last trip. time I went, it was super fun. All right, so we got the Grievard score and the fan <coughs> the Chin Chow, the Varum, the Prime Ape, the Artisan, the Lantern, the Charmeleon. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah. It won't do anything for us. The Reverend will score and the Magmortar will score. Wow, so, so just three, just three point points from Margo. For, for big Margo there. I know. So that's too bad. But you know, all pros have their off days. It's true. So it's true. There we go. Better luck next month to Margo. Indeed. All right. Next up, we have Nixie Claw for uh, Team Fire here. Nixiglaw did pretty great last season with 29 points. Okay, okay, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was like almost a, yeah, that was a season high 
uh, for them. But going back to season five with 28 points, so known to put in like hitting up in that, that 30 range. Yeah, all right. And we've got a uh, raucous pummeling there. Frigibax, Pineco, New Mel, Natu will score. Lantern, Clive, Lux, Lux Ray. Ray. Hey, there you we feel go. like that's probably going to be better than the Lux, whatever the other one was. And the Houndstone, that'd be worth two points. That's right. Let's check right, the Lux Ray number 137. Lux Luxio, that's the other one. That we just pulled. Right. But bam. Yeah, $4.27 for that one. That's so that'll round up to five, five. Six, seven, eight. On the pack there for Nixie Claw. Well done to Team Fire. Very impressive. Bam. That actually might be boosting their numbers a little bit. Oh, Poor no. Team Fire coming into the day and just just last place. But well. as a reminder, per always, there's there's still a single card inside of this that completely wipe out the team Wrecks the whole game. Yeah. So and never anyone, lose faith. I know pulls that Zard. I know. The, it is game over. It is game over. Uh, we have got Ryan up next, Ben. If you want to open here, I'll do it. All Let's right, see. Ryan. Another one for fire, so you know any any large number will do. Any yeah, anything, even like a medium small number will right, probably yeah, right. do in terms of helping your team forward. So we got the got the teardrop energy, the Charmander, the rare candy, the Frigibax, the Pineco, the Iono, the Kilowattroll, the Clive, the Heat Rotom, oh, no. score, the Technical Crisis Punch. Oh, oh and a, a judge. judge! There we go. But if I want to, I want to say that last time we saw this Judge card, I was like, boy, I'm going on a TCG player and getting like six of them. Yep, because it was so cheap. Eighty six cents. So just. Three, three bucks, four on the bad rounding on the row, Tom. So unfortunately, Team Fire uh, fizzles out again. But you do get a judge. You do get a judge, which is amazing. So we love to see that. All right. On the other hand, it's grass. Just in eight. Just, just in time. Just in time. Just in like time. Yeah. I know, right? Let's see. What was Fire one pack away from? Right, right. <laughs> if, if fate had just been ever so slightly different, Isn't this this it? could have been this could have been for Team Fire. But instead, it'll be for the uh, the reigning champs. Team Grass. Oh, oh my gosh, and Ben. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. All right. Both of them today have been for uh, Grass. Uh, Maractus, but I had seen that Lapras, Scraggy, Iona, the, the Curly, Curly yeah. will score the Kilowattro, the Oink Alone, the Fampy, and the Zatu. So okay. actually, only, uh, yeah, not super impressive, really. Just so one, two, three, six points. Six points. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Okay, there you go. Nothing to lose too much sleep over if, yeah. you're, uh, if you're Ryan there from Team Fire missing out. Yeah. Didn't miss out on uh, that many points. There we so. go. That's right. Anyway, oh, oh gosh, even last time Justin had a four time multiplier in his last pack. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, not that pack. Here we go. Next up, we've got Reagan. All right. For Team Electric. Reagan. 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 It My reminds me of uh, uh, Toy Story 4. Oh, here we go. Bam. Two in a row. There we go. And the Nazi right on right top. Right the top. Here, let's Looper, see it. The Tandem Mouse, the Mankey, the Camera Up, the Moonlit Hill, the Dawn Fan, the, oh, the Knackle, Knackle stack. stack. There we go. The Professor's Research. I, I think, think that one does score, yeah. Yes, indeed. And the Zatu. Okay, so we've got some interesting stuff going on yeah, here. This one's worth like two, isn't it? If let's, not more. Yeah, let's double check. Number 87 on the set, just for safety. Yes, it's $1.13, so that's two. Okay. And, and then what's my number there? The Knackle is going to be 170. 177. We'll check that one out. And 177 would be a dollar eighty-one. So okay, maybe so that's not two. All right, so four, five, six, seven. Still fourteen point pack. There we go. All right, our second Bam. of the day. And fourteen, I think, is that's gonna like put you in really good eighth place. Uh, positioning right now. Yes, it definitely well. could. It definitely could. So, so that'd be like that'd be like something that. to keep a keep a watchful eye on as Indeed. that scoreboard starts to like shuffle its way down. There you go. Get your knuckle stack coming your way, Raygon. All right. Next up, we have got Aaron and Tony. Another. Oh, this is a, a a new power couple to the to the mix. I know. Just just one full season under the belt. They threw thirty it, points. It so a great start yes. to this game here. Here we go. It says they both collected as kids and didn't know how to play. This is their first time collecting cards in 20 years! No way! So I think collecting stuff as a couple is just one of the most fun things. Oh, it absolutely is. It's yes, like, yes. You, you can just always both be on the lookout, and it's like, if, you fi if you're the one who finds it, it's like, Part of what's exciting is that you have such good news for the other person. Right, and, and like right. news that they will appreciate. Exactly. Yeah. Man, here we go. Ralts will score. Magmar, Fido. Ooh, Fido, Fido will score, score twice. twice. Hunter, Donphan, Electric Generator, Graplock, the Dolan. There we go. The Gimme Ghoul, the Magmar Tar. So five scoring cards for Aaron and Tony. You love to see it. You do indeed. Let's check number 103 for that Dolan. The first one we pulled, a $1.93. That's going to be two. 
And then do we need to ch no, the mag is probably just one. I yes, yeah. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Time. Yeah, just seven. seven. Just yeah. seven. Just seven. seven. Okay. All right. <laughs> almost uh, almost gave you a times two, but yeah. we caught ourselves. We showed it. Just in. because there's two of you doesn't mean you get points for both. Dorlip. There you go. All right. Well done to Aaron and Tony. Brand new power couple on the block. Next up is Bay Positive. No space. No space. No space. Bay Positive. Bay Positive. Here we go. Um, Bay Positive was a former rookie of the day. They are also new to the game as of last season. Okay, okay, yeah, that's they, amazing. So they came in guns blazing, although they won it with three points. So impressive. There we go. Well, let's see. Yep. All right, so we got the uh, we got the the Lapras off the top, <coughs> the Scraggy, so the many Scraggies today. I know the Moschiff, the Iono, the Camerop, the Electric Generator, the Lechonk will not score, the Whimsicott will, will, and, and the, the Fratchers. Yeah, that that's a front pager number two. So thirty three cents. We'll just round oh, up wow. to a single point. So three, three points, points total for Bay Positive. Well, it was good enough to win Rookie of the Day, but today it's not going to be very good for much of anything. Yeah, that's too bad. But it is always good to get your full art card there, there in go. the yeah. mail, headed. Your but bam, four extras coming at you. Next up, we have Stacy. Let's see, longtime player in the game for Team Grass here, so you never know. You never know. I mean, you I wish know. I could say it didn't matter, but the data is against me on that, so. The rest of the teams just can't stop staring at those pinstripes. They can. They're just like, wow, look at grass wow. over there. They're so, they're so like earthish. How do they do it? Man, if that was another psychic energy. <laughs> I know, yeah, there we go. <laughs> the Gimme Ghoul will score, the Scraggy, the Flittle, Whooper, Moonlit Hill, Charmeleon, Doxbun, Atticus, Vroom, and Raichu. So I think that, well, let's double check the Raichu. I think it's just. Yeah, it's a front page, yeah, number okay. 19, 11 cents there. Okay, yeah. so, Never mind. So four, four point points. pack, there, there we go. go. No chase cards or anything. No, I, yeah. I do feel like we're seeing like the average, uh, the average score be like, Slightly higher. Yeah, just because, because of yeah. the eyeball energy. Like, I don't think we've had any twos today at all. Well, I can't imagine going through a whole pack without getting one a psychic card or two like a uh, a rare card. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's like yep. the if you get a one today, I mean, it's good like, for you. Well but, done. You know that took some skill. Next up, we have Palo Azul. There we go. Let's see. Didn't give great pronunciation to Palo, but said Azul like bull. Azul. 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 Azul, Azul like bull. Azul, bull, yeah. Azul. 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 Yeah. Azul. I would say Azul. I would say Azul. One of the greatest Pokemon card game players in the world right now is named Azul. So there we go. Hey, you're in good company. There we go. We got the Flittle score, we got the Pikachu, the Grievard, the Chinchow, the Atticus, the Mousehold, the Iono, the Varun will not score, the oh, Iono. Critical hit. Oh, there we go. We got Critical wow. Hit, if nothing else, the Magmore Tar to close off. So six points. Damn, just so close. And I it's, know. I, it's hilarious because in past seasons, the Ionos would have been worth two each. I know. So, so it would have been a Critical Hit been on, on top four of points. It. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But I'm, instead, this instead, season. No. The Iono is just not worth as much. Just six so. points for Azul there. All right, next up we have got Lady Starlight. Lady Starlight. I feel like we had some lore to Lady Starlight. Once upon a time. Maybe we did. It does feel likely. It seems yeah. it seems sort of in our in our vein to uh, it does. to come up with something with someone to, to have such a name. I know, right? It says she's a Slitherpuff, mostly Slytherin. Oh, yes, indeed. okay. Lady Starlight has had um, this is her fifth season with us, and on. Three of her last four seasons, she has ended her score with the number six as a random anomaly. But here we go. Whooper, Tandem Mouse, Mankey, the Flittle, the Donphan, Nimona, Grab Like, oh, oh the Cloud Sire. That'll score the Doxmon and the Exeggutor. So let's see, what is the Cloud Sire going to be worth is I the think, question. I think we've pulled a few of these. I think actually. we have, so I'm not sure. Yeah, just, just $1.77 on the Cloud Sire. Two, so. three, four, five, six. Six points. Hilarious. That means your point totals have been six, 16, 16, six, and 11. Wow. Yeah. What was happening in season eight there? Seriously. Lady Starlight. Right, yeah. Yeah. So it has an affinity for sixes. Affinity for sixes. All right, next up we have got Dragon. Dragon. All right, uh, works for a space agency, famously. That, very Let's impressive. See what we've got here for Dragon today. Not, I guess there are a few dragon Pokemon in this particular set. Bam! We've seen a few show oh, up, even though they're usually so very rare. I know. New Mel, the Natu will score, the Padan student, the, the Gengar, Gengar will score, score. the Doxbun will score, score. the Moschiff will not, Mime Jr. will, and then no, a rare dragon! What there do you know? Oh, oh my gosh, course. we did it just for you. Just we, for we you. We planned it. We, we wrote it up just like this. Number 69. The Noivern! On the set. 
is only worth 31 cents. No, no. Not even our first of the season. So. so one, two, three, four, five points for Dragon. But either way, fun to see a little a little theme play there. That's exactly it. There we go. So well, well done, Dragon. Yeah, Dragon! <laughs> there we go. I was hoping Ethan would, would drop it in and post. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another crowd favorite, Ben. It's Games Bun. Games Bun. Let's see. So it seems like a good a good candidate to pull a Fido. It does. You know? the, the Games Bun. Looking at their scores here, it seems like they're a single pack season kind of person. That's been their highest at twenty one points. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see what let's we got see here. It. The Gimme Ghoul will score. The Lechonk. The oh, Execute will score twice. twice. The Char Cadet. The Charmeleon. The Technical Machine Crisis Punch. The Grapple Lock. I feel like I see something peeking out there. Yeah, no. Oh, the Gardevoir. Yes. The shiny Gardevoir. That's awesome. Very very cool. The Haunter will not, not score, score, but the Mimikyu, Mimikyu will score twice. twice. Yes, yeah. indeed. So let's check out that Gardevoir. Well, let's double check the Mimikyu, too. Okay, let's do it. Yep, yeah. number, let's see, 217 for the Gardevoir first. Yep. Have we pulled this one yet? I feel like maybe we did. Yes, we did. $4.41 for All the right. Gardevoir. So that'll five. five. Oh, actually, there's one more because it's psychic, so six. six. Okay, then the Mimikyu is number 37. Is $1.12. Oh. So yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Well, there you go. Way to make something there, Games Bun. Well done. You love to see it. All right, next up we've got Leroy. Leroy for Team Grass. Leroy for Team Grass. Oh man, Leroy is was around for for base set starter decks. The, oh, the, the Machamp. Machamp. I yeah. had the same one. Did that was all? my first ever my first ever like starter deck. Right. Yes. Right. Such a such a throwback. Bam. Oh, and here we go. Okay. Can we do it? And you'll love to see it. Not you right at the top. The Rare Candy, the Cottony, the Pineco, the, the Swoobat. Art is on the, the curl. Every man. other card. Oh, man. For a second, I thought we had double Scraggies, but we don't. Scraggy, Club Bopus, and Squawkabilly. Very wow. playable card. So here we have on the multiplier uh, five card scoring one with Squawkabilly, which is a pretty playable card. It is, sure. however, not a terribly valuable card. Oh, no. Um, at just 94 cents. Bummer. So it just rounds up to a single so one, point. One, two, three, four, five times two is ten. Ten points for Leroy. For Leroy. There you go. All right, well, well done. I feel like someone is still yet to pop off huge yet, but we got plenty to go. We got plenty, plenty, to, go. To, go. plenty to go. Next up, from Bachelor fame, it's Lauren B. Lauren B. Yeah. Am I up? Are you up? You're up. Okay, You're up. I'm up. Yeah, All right, it. yeah. Go for we it. We got this, Lauren B. Get up, Lauren B. I don't really watch it anymore, but I do follow like a Bachelor data account on Instagram, and it feels like this season is generating way more like Instagram traction than it has in several seasons. Oh, so that's interesting. Okay, must be something it. happening must over be. there. Must be okay. We got the eggs. It's also hilarious because Lauren B never actually like intended to subject herself to this like Bachelor relationship, but so far, at least considering the fact they've been around since season two, they're not they're terrible. embracing it. They're not so bothered by it that they've left. <laughs> so we we appreciate. <laughs> Thanks, that. Lauren yes. B. Uh, we got the Mankey. We got the Flittle, we'll score the Pikachu, the Don Fan, the Atticus, the Mousehold, the oh, Mimikyu! That one looks so cool! That does look so sick. Well, it's like you, also yeah, that's literally like right, right the there. Box, yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at that. Oh, oh the Palafin, Pal although we, we know yes, is, yeah. a, is a red herring or a black herring, I it guess. It is indeed, yeah. They Here look so cool. But however, that Mimikyu feels like it's going to have some juice on it. Yeah, so the Palafin is worth two points. $1.15 will round up to two. two. The Mimikyu is what number? Number yes. 160. Yep. Um, so that is going to be eleven seventy three. Holy fuck! So that's gonna be, so that's twelve plus it's psychic. So it's actually thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen points for Lauren 19. B. Way to go to Bam. Lauren! Look wow. at that. Gets man, can you imagine? So a type advantage would have been insane. That, that would have been. It would have been. I mean, close to the first place. Close to first, but wouldn't have taken wouldn't Chase have down nope. and was holding strong with 44 yes. still. Jeez, so. though. Well done to Lauren B. Well done. There we go. Look Enjoy. That bachelorette lifestyle. Here we go. Next up, we've got uh, Crafty Chick. Crafty Chick. No space. No space. All right, Crafty Chick is looking to break double digits for the first time ever. I know, and Team Fire could use it right they now. They could use it. Like you know? they need, they need a hero. Is is Crafty Chick the hero they need? We're gonna find out. It could out. be. It could be. Let's see. Oh, well, Rock is pummeling. There we go. Oh, don't do that one. 
the Barbuch, the Numel, the Maractus, the Oof. Frigibax, the Camera, no the eyeballs. Atticus, the Don Fan, the Pine Cut, the Zachi that... will score twice, and the Research. I think this is still worth two. It is indeed, I believe. Yeah. I'll double check just for safety, but um, yeah, number 88 on the set. Let's see here, $1.20, yes indeed. Yeah, so Zatu's also going to be worth two. That's going to be a four point pack for Crafty Chick, who uh, continues their single digit scoring and will look to next season to maybe break 10. Yeah, but you know what? It's got to come. It's, it's got to come. It's like, that's your like, day is there. You're always just biding your time, you're building the potential energy. Like Brock. Yes, like Brock or Onyx. All right. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Jr. A.K.A. Jellyfish Rookie. Jellyfish Rookie, which yeah. is a name that we have bestowed upon them, <clears throat> in which they wear like a champion. Yes, as exactly. far as I can tell. Yeah, they were a rookie uh, last week. Uh, they won't be a rookie forever, Rocks but bumbling. it doesn't matter because sometimes your nickname is just something that you don't have total control over. Yeah. Uh, we got the Chin Chow, the Pineco, the Pikachu, the Fampy, the Iono, the Camera, the Electric Flittle. Generator, the Flittle Will Score, the Scrafty Will Not, and the, the Gold. Golden Dango. That's not like worth anything extra, is it? I'll like double a, like check. A single point as for for always, number 67, just 24 cents on All that. All right, one, so it's going to be a two point pack there for Jellyfish Rookie. That's a two point pack back to back. Two point pack back to back. Least. There we go. Congratulations. Two well did. Two points in. Well done, Jellyfish. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, make sure. Good. Yep. All right, next up we have Rab Rangoon, like Crab Rangoon, who is coming off a killer 45 point season in season eight. Wow. Boy, wow. if they can do that again, they're in the lead. Yes. That would do it. Yeah, they I mean, only have just, one pack to do it this time. I mean, and and seriously though, like I mean, how uncommon is it for people to get back to back forty five points? <laughs> you know, it's like, regular. Yeah. You know, let's see. Let's see. Who are you, Brooke? No. Let's see. All Dark right. Dark teardrop. New Mel. Maractus. Paldean student. Oinkalone. Clive. Primate. Not looking so good so far. Mabostif will score. Palafin will score. And Reverum will score. But I think that's just gonna be a one, two, three, four point pack. Four point pack for Rabrangoon. Here and we you go. get another one of those very cool looking Palafins, I know. even if. Uh, even if it doesn't have the value that we once thought that it might. It just right. it just has the aura about it that it should be. It's the Wug Trio. We've I got know. the same problem with multiple cards this season. Like where there's, we, there's like art we love that is just not as valuable as we want as it to want be. As you want it to be, I know. It was like when they started doing the illustrators, it was like, if you got any, amazing. Amazing. Now, now they're becoming a bit saturated, but yeah. I still, I mean, I think they should continue with them. All right, next up we have Kevin. 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 Here we go. Game developer. I can only assume they greatly appreciate the uh, amazing skill we've worked into this game. Yes, indeed. You know, clearly a anyone's highly... game. Oh, look at that! Oh, I there we go. Look, There's the some game, skill. The game developer knows the ins and the outs, don't they? We got the yep. Nimona, the Charmander, the Rare Candy, the Tandem Mouse, the Primeape, the Artisan, the Lantern. Oh, the Execute go. will score twice. Oh, the Lantern oh, gets a critical hit. Look at but this. But can we pull something big for it to hit on? Oh, no! Oh man! So just we have two, three times. It's gonna be a twelve-point pack. Right, yeah, wait, um, no, hold on. Right? Yeah, because four times three, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So the two times, then the two times, so four times three is 12. You're right. Oh, man. man. So close. That is a bummer because you got the chase card on it and everything, the double, so that's a four times multiplier. I'm going to make note of it here. Why not? Right? 4x multiplier. Bam. There you go, Owen. Oh, oh, Ben. Speak of the brook, and she doth appear. Next up, we have got Brook. Who is, as ever, a long-standing uh, contender in the game. <clears throat> oh man, Brooke is back! Brooke is back for Team Water. Brooke could be our overall record holder of all points of all time with 239. 200, right, might, might be responsible for the biggest pack ever, Team Grass. Wow, I'm throwing insult to injury. It says, fight me. But let's see how she does. Cottony, Lapras, Mom Jr., Moonlit Hill, Charmeleon, Doxbun, Doxbun. Swoobat, Tandem Mouse, and the Paldean Student, which I think we pulled earlier is only I worth know, a yeah. point. Yeah, let's double check. Um, 231. It feels like, yeah, you're right. Just a single point. It just Man, doesn't seem like it would be. I know. It's such a such a cool looking card, but it's so only going to be one, a... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Yeah. None of those are... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just a five point pack for Brooke there, but still manages to get a nice sleeved card coming her way. That's exactly it. So well classic done. Well Brooke done. in true Brooke fashion. I know. There we are. We'll enjoy. Until next time. Until next time. Here we go. Next up, we have 1909 Grass Fan. All right. 1909 Grass Fan. It says first gen is his favorite. I mean, as you can see from our playback, pretty much true of us as well. Us, yep, yep, absolutely. 
see. That's I think that was like where I started to like lose the game once upon a time was like once they added so many new Pokemon. It yeah, was like, like I didn't know how to feel when I ran into something. I was like, is this is it good? Good? Should or I just be excited? Common for this grass? I know, right? Yeah. So oh, the, oh, Zigzagoon. Oh, yeah. Wait. Is that is that like a Zubat? That'd be like a Rotata. Oh yeah. man, darn, that's too bad. All right, so we got the Maractus, we got the Paldean student, the Lapras, the Scraggy, the Charmeleon, the Oinkalone, the Camerot, the Dodo. Dodo. That'll do something for us. The Mime Dodo. Junior Dodo. will score, and the yep. Goldango. So let's Source. check the Dodo. Let's check out that Dodo. Number one ninety nine on the sensor. Second one coming at two dollars forty eight cents. We'll round up to three, three four, five points for nineteen oh nine Grass Fan. There we go. Starting to get super stoked. I mean, the, it's amazing to me how I feel like they've trained me already. That like when you see those shinies pop up. I like, all right, <laughs> now, we, now we got something. Yeah, things are getting crazy now. All right, next up we have got Tempest Blade. Long time player, way back since the beginning of the game. Coming off of a 46 point season. And as you say, how hard is it to go back to back 46 points for the lead? Not that hard. Not that hard, just Not do it, hard. just do it. You know, it took you three packs last time, just do it with one. Just do it with one. That's called efficiency. Right, right, right. You know, if I can open your pack at all here at Tempest Blade, let's but see. But it is Team Grass, so I mean, as, grass, as for so always. Anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and here we go. The Execute right off the top, right off the rip. The Charconet, the Ralts, the Toad School, the Nest Ball. That's also a good sign. Yeah, look at this. Look at what would have happened, Ben. I know. Uh, all of the <laughs> Flamigo. You love it. The Dedenne will not, well, it does score. And, and the, the Wow, it's actually Man. not bad. Yeah, so we've got, we're going to have, uh, like, let's, let me check the Flamigo. Yeah, let's check the Flamigo. That's going to be the most important. So one. In past seasons, both Iono and Nest Ball were worth two points. Now, they're not this season, but just the fact that they showed up is sort of like just flexing, it feels it is, like. It is, yeah. So the Flamigo, I think it's our first one, actually. At least I didn't highlight last time if we got one before. $3.63. All right, so, so it's going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times, times 2, two is, is a 20-point 20 20. pack. Wow. I mean, not Amazing. quite the 46 that we were hoping for, but 20 is not bad. Not bad Team at Grass. All. Once again, it's just stacking Surgeon. the top of How that leaderboard. Look at that Flamigo. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, I think we still have at least three more members of Team Grass to pull packs today. So, oh boy. goodness gracious. They are all over those multipliers. They came ready to eyeball, man. All right, here we go. Zero for 12. We also see a bunch. It's just basically down to fire and grass for the rest of the day. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think I just went, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, we're up. Go from the middle. Here we go. Zero for 12. That'd be hilarious when we get to, to season 12 <laughs> with zero for 12. Zero for 12, season 12. Let's see. Zero for 12 has been a long time player in the game, but their best season ever was actually last season at 14 points. So wow, so they are just they are that. due. They well, are due. So we got the Ghastly, which is not an eyeball in this set. They got oh, the, the Fido Pido, scores. The Fido will score twice. Yeah. Uh, the Haunter, the Charmeleon, the Oin Cologne, the Camerop, the Fresh Research, Research will score, the Dedenne will score, and the Houndstone, Houndstone. will score. So Bam. we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, there you go. So there seven. we go, making something out of nothing for zero, four, twelve. Still not like the big pull that we're hoping for. But to but, get seven points and no sleeves, yes, that's pretty good. That is that is very impressive. Playing the game very wisely. Exactly. Next up we have Vincent, who, let's see, is in a, how long has Vincent been playing? Since the beginning. Since the beginning. And how have they done? They've been up to, I've been up to like a 19 pointer before, you know, so it's okay. It's, you know, I, I there's something very heartfelt to me that there are so many people who have like been with us since the start. Yeah. It's like, thank you guys. Thanks guys. It's a many, lot. How many packs must you have gotten by this point? I right? know. Man, we've got Metal Energy off the top, so no Multiplier, Toad School, Klobopus, Frigibax, the Dene showing up all, all of a sudden everywhere. Zubak, Dengar will score, Pineco will not, Klobopus, we have a critical hit! And the Cyclozar! Oh man, well the Cyclozar, I don't think do doing anything well. fun, but four so cents, no wait, yeah. No, not four cents, I'm sorry. I was like, wow, that is such Whoa. bad value. Twelve cents for the Cyclozar. So oh, that three times as much. <laughs> yeah, so just four points? Just, well, this is a critical hit, so eight oh, points. Oh, eight points, eight yeah. points, I'm sorry, good yeah, save, good save. Go. All right, well, at least you get a double Klobopus. There you go. The funnest Pokemon name to say, if you ask me. Which, I mean, you're watching the show, so you kind of did. <laughs> you can't make it. It's, at, least, at least somewhat matters. All right, here we go. We have Aureus Khan. Aureus Khan, okay. Unlike Vincent, this is on their second season ever. Okay, so, so either which way, though, for Team Grass, you never know what you're gonna get. Probably a multiplier, probably know, a shiny. At Something least wild. at least okay. three. Okay, so we got that. So we got the Lapras, we got the Mime Junior, Junior the Moshtiff, the Barboach. 
Nope. The mouse hole, the ultra ball, the oink alone, the dead again. Everywhere. The mosh of critical hit. You're critical right. Hit, multiplier. There we go. Yep. And the cerule edge. edge. So well, just double check the cerule edge. I guess to make sure we're not. Yeah. Let's see. Front page of nine cents on that one. So nothing so. major. So one, two, three, four times two. two be an eight, eight point pack. There you go. Well done, Arias Khan. Again, eight, see, just like we just said, seven points with no sleeve, so good. I know. And then and here then comes grass to be like, just make like, it eight. Make it eight. Hold my beer. Right. It's like I like to think that like the way that, the way that it plays out in my head, kind of like Pokemon Stadium version, is that you've got the groups, the clusters of everybody, and like when it's the next person's up, everybody's sort of like, yeah, you know. So in this case, you'd be like, like everybody, like John Borg's up. You know, they're all cheering for him, and they're like, okay, okay, here's what you need to do. It's like. Team Water, they just did this silly thing. Yeah. Go and crush them. Just go and crush them. Like a grape. You know, and by crush them, I mean just like barely beat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like let them know. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, give them like a little like a little smirk as you walk back to your bench. You're like, nice seven, I just put up eight. <laughs> no big deal. All right, this is John Borg for Team Grass, so let's see what he's got. Water Energy. The Noibat, the Chimeco will score, the Ghastly, the Paudan Student, the Oinkla, and the Camera, the, the Kleppa! And oh, I was for a second, I thought we had the there, but we do not. We have the Exeggutor. So let's see, I think this is our first Kleppa, because that's adorable. I, I, I do not remember that one at all. So yeah, yeah. let's take a look here. Number, so just a dollar ninety-eight, so kind of poor wow. rounding. So two points for the Kleffa. Well, three, because it's psychic. Three, okay. Yeah, so then four, five, six. Man, really, like they're just pulling something out of their hats over here. Yeah. There that you eyeball go. energy is just working for people today, handing out points left, right, and center. Right? All right, we are down to our final two of the day. Next up, we have uh, Kernak McClagan. Kernak! <laughs> Rival of skill. <laughs> <laughs> Something of a joke is they have pulled up to 86 points in a season before, so I think it's up to you, Ben. Okay, let's see here. Yep, all right, we're gonna go yep. with this one oh here. Oh boy, how'd the coin flip go? Let's just want you guys to know that there's just grass and fire left here, so Ben just coin flipped this for grass. Let's yes, see how I we did, did indeed. it. Yeah, so obviously, you know, I'm not trying to play favorites or anything. Let's see, we've got the raucous pummeling energy there. We've got the Woobat, oh, which will score, I'm yep. sorry. We've got the, the Scraggy, the Gimme Gold will score, the Magmar, the Kilowatt will, the Clive, the Curly will score, oh, the, the Murkrow! Oh, cool! Will score, that's awesome. The Primate will not, the Professor's Research will score too. So let's check the Murkrow, number 181 on Man. the set. Well, so the Murkrow and that Flamigo we pulled earlier are both part of like a United Wings deck and that looked like you can have a very shiny looking deck if you want. There we go. Out of those guys. So the Murkrow is going to come in at two dollars thirty cents, so three, three points. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, there we eight go. Eight for grass. All right, so now the question is with the with the coin flip whether or not uh, I, I gave the points to Team Grass or to Team Fire in the end. Let's see because it. Because up next in our last pack is, today is Sydney. Does Sydney have the last pack magic for Team Fire? Let's see. We have the Pikachu pack. There it is. We Bum, started and ended with it, I believe. All right, let's see. Hairstylist from Texas. Started collecting Pokemon cards around ages six or seven. I like Can to think, they do it? I like to think that while they're cutting someone's hair, they like pull up the episode the new week and they're sort of like, I gotta watch this. Yeah, like I'm sort of my, a part of this. Watch my name will come up at some point. It's really All right. cool. Grass energy, the graveyard will score, the fampy, the chincha, the varum, Iono, camera up, electric generator, the mosh diff, the mom junior will score, and oh. the Maboss diff. So just a three-point pack there just for the, Sydney. It turns out Ben coin flipped in favor of grass. Go figure. Go figure. It's just like I mean, math, math, Only math. eight versus three, so nothing massive. It wasn't like this was a hundred-point pack or something. I know, that would have been wild. But, yep, um, yep so nothing nothing really major change in there. Uh, Chase continues with one episode left on the season to sit atop that leaderboard. Sure does. Remarkably impressive. Well done. You know Chase has been sitting there the whole episode just like... Okay. This is the burden of being in first place. Is that like it's so exciting, but then like the, if it's so early in the season, like every pack could be your last. I know, especially I know. in a one. It's not like you can hope like okay, but I have another chance. Like, right? Yeah. This is it. This is that's it. That's it. I put up a mark. So far, it's been the best, and that's that's where it is. Dang. So my cards must fall where they will. But man, another exciting episode of Carla Brothers Brox Breakers in the books. I know, it's been so much fun. I love the one pack seasons, although we are warming ourselves up for a uh, three month season, which will be happening next for season 10. Mm -hmm. uh, if you would like to get in, we actually opened up some new spots all together to make room for some new people since there has been such high demand. If you want to check it out and have <laughs> us open packs for you here on the show, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of those box breakers. 
tiers. And remember, if you'd like to do the quarterly merch tier, it does come with these cool pieces of swag, sort of like the play mat that you have in front of us and a variety of other really cool things that we've done throughout the year. So again, link to that in the description down below. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!